Now, to solve this quadratic equation, we first need to get everything to one side of the equation so that we have 0 on the other side and apply the 0 factor theorem. So the first thing to do is move the 10 over. So we have 3x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, no big deal. That step was easy. Uh, and now we just need to factor this guy. Now, since we have a coefficient here in front of the x squared, we have to make sure that we take care of that guy whenever we factor. Okay, so the 3x squared is going to break down, we know for sure, to be 3x and x. Since we have to multiply to get a negative 10, we know we have to use one positive and one negative. And then the right way for us to break down the 10 in this case is going to be with a, a minus 5 and a positive 2. Now if you need to scratch this stuff out on the side, erase, try and do your trial and error, that's fine. Um, with practice, it becomes a lot easier to see what the right combination is supposed to be. But we always check our work. 3x times x is 3x squared. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. On the inside here we get negative 5x and a plus 6x, which gives me that positive 1x in the middle. So I know that part is okay. The rest of this is using that zero factor theorem. 3x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now solving this guy is something that we should really be able to take care of in our heads, but if you want to take it step by step, you can. Add the 5 to both sides, and then divide both sides by 3. So here we have x equals 5 thirds, and for the other one we're going to have that x equals, subtract the 2 over, negative 2. There you have it. Now you do want to make sure you take the time to check your work on these guys just by plugging them back into the original equation.